Just when you thought that you have too many, they released another one. A new steel for the paramilitary too. Hey there everyone, Claymor here and today I got a new knife. I have just unboxed this thing. This is a Spyderco Paramilitary 2 which obviously is my favorite knife model, brand and model I would say. Blade HQ exclusive and this one's got a CTS BD1N satin blade steel and a linerless violet aluminum scales. Pocket clip is still on the tip down carry configuration. I'm gonna transfer this clip in a little while. Because I prefer tip up carry. Now, Blade HQ released three of these knives. Same CTS BD1N, but uh, there's one with the blue scales and another one with the green, like a forest green. I chose the violet because I don't have this color yet in my collection and I don't want duplication in my scale colors so this would be my first aluminum scales in my PM2 collection upon handling it it's very obvious that this is a lightweight knife the absence of liner perhaps contributed to its lighter weight let's weigh this one 100 point three grams for this one and if we compare it to the regular one with the S30V blade steel and G10 scales almost 106 grams so this one's a little bit heftier compared to this one now if we compare it with another PM2 with uh, a linerless scales this is the copper hell it's 209 it's double the weight of this one this is not my first time to use a BD1N steel because this Power 3 Lightweight has the same blade steel. But the thing is, I haven't been using this a lot, so I cannot really tell how it performed compared to maybe an S30V blade steel. So I will have to find out later on how this performs as I carry this thing. This one's selling here for a little bit more than the regular PM2 with the S30V blade steel and G10 scales. I don't know, perhaps because of the scales? Are aluminum scales more expensive than G10? I don't know. But for sure, I like this aluminum scales. It's got some machining on it. So you can see the pattern on the scales. Gives you a, a kind of a grippy texture. It doesn't feel slippery in the hand, so it feels secure. It, does, it doesn't feel like it's gonna go anywhere. What I'm not sure about is the durability of this coating. For sure, this is going to scratch just like other aluminum scales. But uh, yeah, perhaps it will give it some character as this knife wears off. When it comes to action, it's good, it's flippy. A little bit of a lock stick when you disengage the compression lock. Yeah, there. I think this will improve as the knife breaks in. Centering was a little bit favoring the clip side, which is an easy fix. So there you go, my Blade HQ exclusive Spyderco Paramilitary 2. It's it's an interesting addition to my growing PM2 group here in my collection. Whew, when will I stop? All right, I think that's about it, folks. If you haven't subscribed yet to Climb Sharp Stuff, why don't you click that subscribe button, and that will be awesome. Stay safe, everyone. Stay sharp. Till next time.